Estella Johansson is a one-woman florist these days, doing everything herself. But from Monday, customers can come into the store to collect flowers and she can hire back staff. Coronavirus turned her livelihood upside down. It hit just when we get really busy, not just with Easter, but just spring overall. And then, of course, Mother's Day, which is the number one holiday for florists, where we make, literally, we make the money for the slow summer. Now Estella worries that the protests after George Floyd's killing, which turned violent in some places, will set back New York's reopening. This storefront on her street was damaged. A lot of people are not going to be able to go back to work as expected on Monday. So therefore, people are not going to have money to spend. And flowers is not like the major thing. Across New York City, small businesses are struggling with high rents and very little revenue. Restaurants, the social heart of so many blocks, probably won't open for in-person dining before July. Come on, Andrea, please open because we... Tired of cooking. Andrea Mochi opened for takeout after his customers begged him to. But he's not making money and the nightly curfew isn't helping. He's planning on reopening at 50% capacity and has many worries. We don't know how the, the customer will react, if they, if they will be afraid to go in a restaurant. Do you think you'll be able to make money if the restaurant is only allowed to be half full? Maybe, in the best case sh sh scenario, maybe we can be even ma making money. New York's greatest strength is also its vulnerability as the city begins to reopen. People here live very densely. It's what gives the city its vibrancy. But coronavirus preys on crowds. So we have to find a way to feel comfortable being around each other again. George Bonanno, a clinical psychologist at Columbia University, has studied how we respond to traumatic events. In my own research, we've looked at, you know, for 30 years, we've looked at all the bad things we can think of and get access to. And people are always resilient. And they're resilient because we find a way to deal with things. That's what Estella, under the watchful eye of Lola, is hoping for. I think flowers is the one thing that in any, I don't care what race, religion or culture you come from, they are used around the planet from the moment you are born till the moment you die. New Yorkers have been living in the epicentre of the global coronavirus outbreak and they're grappling with the aftermath of the protests too. Now Monday marks both the end of the curfew and the city's reopening. Laura Trevelyan, BBC News, New York.